Singapore is gearing up for the electric vehicle wave with new R&D platforms launched by ASTAR, giving local firms access to new materials critical for EV technologies. Second Minister for Trade and Industry, Dr Tan Siling, shared at a conference bringing together leaders in the semiconductor supply chain. Nashwa Rohim with more. Over 700 companies from 23 countries are here to showcase the next wave of semiconductor innovation. But it's tariff talk and not tech that's dominating conversations. There is now also the imminent possibility that tariffs targeted at semiconductors will be introduced. This has caused anxiety amongst companies who are uncertain about the implications on demand for their products as well as potential disruptions to their supply chains. And some are already putting in investments on hold. Still, Dr Tan says there are long-term prospects for growth and Singapore is gearing up for it by opening a world's first of its kind industry-grade R&D line for silicon carbide. The material is said to be a game-changer in semiconductor chip making with its wide application of users and ability to power technologies like electric vehicles. Benefits of silicon carbide because it has a wider band gap as compared to silicon, in terms of the switching speed, it's got a higher frequency, it's got a higher voltage, and this makes it an ideal candidate for automotive, especially when you go into EV, in, into, the, into the electric vehicles, this is a key. Supporting all this is Singapore's drive to grow talent in the space. Key players will offer student internships, staff attachments, and promote joint projects.